Hi guys, welcome to another uh, short video by uh, Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and it's another uh, short video in the series I'm doing showing you some of the uh, finds I find on car boot sales and antique fairs and things. Just showing you what you can get uh, on a low budget. Um, some of it's really interesting. Um, so I hope you enjoy. I'll pan over now some of the items, give you a little description of what they are and what they cost. Um, and go from there. So, Okay, um, I'm going to start off uh, here with a uh, early 20th century iron uh, scales, kitchen scales or shop scales. These are by Forge and they're absolutely beautiful in their original condition untouched. Um, these come in this week. Nice brass heart finial on them. I do have the weights to go with them. It came as a full set. I paid £20 for the set, um, which I think is very fair. Um, a good set like that in an antique shop is about £55, £65. Um, but you never find them with these brass finials on. It is, uh, as you can see, it's a period piece, early 20th, really nice. So that was my first little buy. Um, a box set of Royal Albert Crystal. Um, crystal is one of the main things I buy on the markets. People, they undervalue Crystal severely. So, as you can see, Somebody had this as a wedding present and it has literally never been out of the box. I'm the first one to take out the box, it's absolutely beautiful. It's about four kilos, three, four kilos in weight. So that that cost me a fiver. Let's see, boxed crystal. Um, unbelievable. Can't fault it one bit. Next year we have an antique, what's called a loving cup or quiche. quiche. Um, it's made of pewter, full set of touch marks underneath. Um, always do okay with these. They come in all sorts of metals. Highest price, obviously, silver with gold embellishments. But this is a nice nice example of pewter. Nice patina to the pewter. Um, that came in, that was £3. Uh, next we have very large charger. Um, this is going to be in with my study of Chinese and Japanese porcelains. Uh, my oriental works. It's fully hand painted um, in Mari colours. Has been damaged yet again, all my pieces are on the Chinese and the Japanese. Um, plenty of kiln grit, all hand painted, has the uh, ring lines. So that's a nice piece of what well, I believe Chinese porcelain to give me a bit more research on, but it is 18 inches ish. In diameter. Next then we come over here. First of my silver pieces was a set of knives. Now you'll see sets like this all the time, they never got used. They've almost always got solid silver handles. It's rare to find the blade silver but you do. Um, most people sell these and the problem that they have with them, I don't know if you can see if I can focus, the handle separates from the blade, so they look at that as damage. Now the best way to repair that is get a saucepan of boiling water, you rest it in the water and it melts all the glue inside and the filler substance that they used inside. Just push the handle back on and they seal it as soon as they cool. Easy repair. Um, so you haven't got to worry if the, the handles have separated from the blades. Just heat up some water, melt the liquid inside the handles and reclose them. Perfect. They come in a fiver. You always find these for fivers or tenors for the set. Um, and there's more than that scrap value in the handles. Next then was an old uh, silver cigarette case. This piece, gilded inside. It's fully hallmarked. Um, it's not English, it's continental. It has a set of marks here and a full set again on here. Um, 
I say it's continental, but it is 925 standard. I paid £20 for that. However, if you have a look at the scales, it's 109 grams, or not far off 110 grams. Silver at the moment, if you want to buy broken, beat out silver, is about 35 pence a gram. So it doesn't take rocket science to know that's you know, 35, 40 pounds worth of silver just to go in the melting pot without reselling it. So that's, that's nice. Um, I had a silver brush. This came in for a pound. They thought it was silver plate. Um, it is solid silver. Let me see if I can see the hallmarks quickly. Uh, yeah, got them. There we go. Full set of hallmarks there. Now these brushes can vary. Um, a mirror can have 30, 40 pounds worth of silver around it. Uh, these brushes normally have about 10 or 15 pounds worth of scrap silver if you wanted to strip it down and weigh it in. But the hair is in nice condition, so that'll be retailed as a brush. But never overlook these pieces, even if they're broken, people will sell them for a couple of pounds. You know, there's 10, 15 pounds worth of silver. The mirrors are the heavy ones, um, but the brushes, yep, yeah, don't ever discount the silver. Next then, <clears throat> I've added a little bit of gold. I don't often have gold, but I've had three pieces this week, nice pieces. First of all, it's a bar brooch. It has the um, red stone in the centre, possibly a garnet. Um, will need to be tested, to be honest with you. It's fully hallmarked. Came in for a tenner. Um, again, I'll put him on the scales for you. Without retailing, now I'm just talking scrap value. Um, nine carat gold is 2.3 grams. Gold is about £11.50 grams, somewhere under there. So do the math. I'm over doubling my money just in scrap value. But again, a brooch like that is going to retail about £40, £50. Pounds. Just to give you an idea, um, you'll see lots of silver and gold odd, odd earrings or broken earrings. A lot of people leave them there, they think it's so light, it's nothing, it's not worth buying. This one was £2. Pounds. And basically, as I just said, silver's £11.50, uh, sorry, gold's £11.50. It's £14 pounds a scrap just in that one earring. So never discount it just because it's an earring. With silver, you can get four, five, six earrings, odd earrings like that in a group, and people will sell them to you for about 50p. Finally is a gold ring, 4.2 grams. Again, this one came in at 20 pound. Don't know the stone. It's a beautiful ring. Anyway, hope you found that um, interesting. As you can see, never overlook just a little piece of gold or silver, it will add up. And never underestimate your crystal. Always undervalued at the markets. So I hope you found the uh, video today interesting and uh, please subscribe and come back for more. Or visit us on our website or on our eBay shop. So. Until next time, thank you.